where do we begin? Wembley, here we go. <laughs> I mean, this is a very unusual match reaction in a way that I am currently traveling. I'm a digital nomad. I am escaping the winter. And sometimes like, you know, watching the game 3 a.m. in the morning, going to bed at six, it's kind of get a little bit tiring, but it's so worth it, especially when you getting the overdosed feeling of an endorphins where we are today as Manchester United fans all over the world so let me know what you think how you feel today because I certainly feel good Eric Ten Hag's birthday as well congratulations happy birthday Eric Ten Hag 53 years of age and God you're the Messiah that we Manchester United fans have been waiting for crying out for it's been five years since we went to a final and won something and I keep forgetting it's been almost three years since we lost that um, Europa League final uh, when De Gea kicked the uh, missed the penalty we went down to 11th place to kick the ball and happened to be De Gea but it's all PTSD it's all blocked out from my memory anyway um, as a Manchester United fan looking ahead of this season looking with the signing with Sabitzer on board as well I think we're cooking I think we're going places it's going to be very interesting to see what trophies we're going to win as I never expected even to ha be in top four or, you know, even have a trophy. It was always about the rebuild, always about the Eric Ten Hag way of instilling his playing style into Manchester United because we've been, let's face it, been playing quite pragmatic shit football, non-United way. But look, we are back. That's all I can say. I'm, we are back, baby. That's it. Um, so... 5-0 in aggregate, what can we say in review? I mean, we were in cruise control. It was clear and obvious first half. We were just passing the ball around, dominating in possession. Yeah, we let him through a few times, but, you know, Eric Ten Hag, kudos. He, you can clearly tell he wants to win. He wants to win. He lined up very, very strong, and there was never a moment, in, that, in my mind at least, that we were under threat knowing that we had 3-0 in the bag we had one leg into Wembley all right so great greatness I mean Casemiro again oh my god this guy is proven he's rejuvenated his career you know even the pundits from ESPN was saying like you know I can't believe what I'm watching Casemiro late in the Real Madrid team didn't look like he had the fire in the belly so Come to, come to Manchester United to rejuvenate your career. And I even believe that Sabitzer would do that. And playing under Eric Ten Hag has proven to be fruitful. <clears throat> the likes of Fred as well. Uh, you know, the Fred McFred or whatever we call him under Eric Ten Hag the past couple of seasons, <clears throat> sorry, under only a couple of seasons was shambles, right? We, we were calling from his head. Aaron Van Bissaka, totally different player. Fred looks like He's actually got a Brazilian passport. I mean, the whole team, I mean, kudos for Eric Ten Hag, the whole team got a little bit of rotation, but it's how you rotate, you know. Obviously, you don't go and rotate the first half, like, you know, it's clear and obvious you want to secure those tickets to Wembley, and which I believe he did. <clears throat> As evidently we saw in the second half, when beautiful Sancho came in, and what an entrance. He did all right. He did all right, but still, like, you know, um, there's a long way to go for Sancho. Martial looked sharp straight away. Uh, we, we saw how, how we missed up his linked up play. You know, he was involved, he scored, he linked up Rashford, he linked up everyone. And, dude, let's talk about Fred's shin pads, right? Marcus Rashford from the byline, you know, flicking it in and hitting Fred shin pads. It's believed that the Glazers is running out of coffers, running out of a dear heart of milk, Manchester United out of money. So I heard uh, from the sources that they are putting Fred shin pads on eBay for the highest bidder. And it's led to believe that the Rainy Group is handling the sale. <laughs> so who can afford Fred shin pads? Now, it's all gas for me. It's all vibes. There's nothing negative into it course first half was a little bit boring it was pretty much just controlling the game in summary if I would summarize the whole game I have one word to say it was cruise control and anyway, guys 
you know, I'm happy, I'm stoked. This is Mick Ruby reporting from Thailand uh, over the moon because in 24 days we'll be at Wembley. Guys, let me know your thoughts and feelings, your emotion, what you think. Leave a comment in the uh, description below. It always helps. If not, you know, thank you for watching and please come back to watch for more. Welcome to MUC Realist TV. Signing up. Ciao for now. Oh, by the way, Saturday. We are back, Crystal Palace. Let's go. Cheers.